Hello, dear. You're welcome to Design Slider Tech. The problem with S Mode is that it does not allow you to install any apps outside the Windows App Store. It also does not allow you to use the command prompt, the registry editor, and some other administrative features in Windows. It also doesn't even allow you to install apps like Google Chrome or VLC Media Player. This video is showing how to disable S Mode on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If I click on Windows Start here, I go into Settings and then scroll down and go to the About section, you'll see Windows 11 Pro in S Mode. But any kind of app that you install outside of the Windows App Store, like for instance, let's say OBS Studio, it unfortunately won't let you run it because Windows is in S Mode. If I try to open Chrome, it's the same error. And also, if I want to open the Registry Editor, so if I search for Regedit here and try to open the Registry Editor, it's the same thing. It won't allow me to open it because it's in S mode. What we want to do is we want to click on the Start button, go into Settings, and then from Settings, you want to scroll down until you find Recovery. And from Recovery, you want to click on Advanced Startup and push the Restart Now button. And this will boot your system into recovery. This is going to take just a few seconds to do. Once you get the system into the blue screen recovery mode, click on Troubleshoot, then into Advanced Options, and then into the Command Prompt. Now, if you have a Windows password, it may require a password before you open Command Prompt. Go ahead and enter the password that you normally use. And then from this point, you simply want to type Regedit and press the Enter key. This is going to open up your registry editor. In the registry editor, just click and expand H key local machine. And then from there, you want to go up to file at the top and select load hive. And then from there, the hive that you're looking for is going to be located in your C drive. As it is, right now we're on the boot drive. That's not the right directory. Let's go into our C drive. Then from there, we want to go into Windows and then scroll down until you find System32. It is all in alphabetical order. Go ahead and find System32 and click on that. And then you want to scroll down again until you find Config. Yep, that's it right there. So we click on Config, and then from here, we want to scroll down until we find System. Now this is the hive that we want to load. So go ahead and click on System and click Open and it's gonna ask you to name this hive. That's easy to do. I'm just gonna simply name it Offline System, then give it OK. And then from there, open the new hive, which is Offline System. And then we wanna go into Control Set 001. Yours might simply say Control Set, but if you don't have Control Set, then go into the Control Set that you have, and then from that point, go into Control, and then from there, we want to go into CI, and then we want to go into Policy. And then from Policy, the only D Word file we are interested in is right here, the SKU policy required. And it's set to one currently right now. So what we want to do is open SKU policy required and change its value from one to zero. Give it OK. And then once you've done that, scroll back to offline system folder again, and then go into file at the top, and then you want to click Unload Hive. And then what this is going to do is it will unload that hive from this registry editor. And once you do that, just close the registry editor and close the command prompt also. And then on the blue screen options, we want to click Turn Off the PC. Wait for some seconds, then turn on the device. So we are back in Windows, and I go into Windows Start to open Settings here. Then we're going to scroll down to About, and right there, you can see Windows 11 Pro with no S mode anymore. And as you would expect it, all apps from outside Microsoft Store now open like they're supposed to.